Oh my god. I was so worried, dude. I was so worried I was gonna run over the camera. I was we're good. So this is Bums Miata. She's had it for over two years now. She's had it for a long time. And I am absolutely in love with it. I feel like it's so fitting for her. It's kind of like her identity. And it's always had a problem with the hood. The paint on the hood has always been cloudy and absolutely disgusting. So the other day I was like, you know what? We're going to solve this once and for all. So I watched the video and here's the before and after of what I was able to accomplish with just a short little test run. So I've had it. Today is the big day. We are gonna take care of this cloudy hood once and for all. I'm so glad that she's had this car for so long. I mean, she lets me drive it. It's just so much fun and it's convertible. It was super cool in California, but it's also cool here in the summertime. She gets a lot of attention. People love the car. And I just, I mean, I would recommend one to anybody. I don't care who you are, you will have fun driving one of these around and anyone who's owned one will absolutely agree. Although you can't get an automatic. I mean, I, I've heard those are lame. I don't know, this one's not an automatic and you know, I don't want an automatic. As weird as it sounds, we're gonna come at you with a 400 grit scrub, scrub, scrub. They're like, bro, what are you doing? You're destroying, I, I know it sounds weird, sanding the car's paint, but that, that's apparently what you do and I, I think it works. And you know what, screw it, we're also gonna do the headlight housings because these have always been super cloudy and you know, if we're gonna do it, we're gonna go all out. And honestly, that's it. We're gonna dry it off and see what we got. You know, we just wanted to sand off that top layer of nasty cloudy paint and expose the beautiful, shining, glistening paint that was hiding underneath. <laughs> Guys, I... I I swear, I don't, <laughs> I, I don't know what happened. Like I followed all the instructions, it all, it all made sense. And it just came out, oh my God. Oh, uh, okay, I'm, I'm totally kidding. So in an effort not to bore you, we're now gonna sand with 1,000 grit, 1,500 grit, 2,000, 2,500, and then 3,000 grit. Man, oh man, I have been scrubbing for literally the past two hours. Like this is taking two hours and I'm not even done yet. I still have three more things to do. So next up, we're gonna spread this ultra cut compound all over the hood, and then we're gonna rub it in. Basically what this is, is it's kind of like a sandpaper, but it's in liquid form. Okay, so I was sick of doing it. Oh crap, oh no, oh no. So I've been out here for the last five hours. I finished about two hours ago and I realized I, I just wasn't happy with it. There was a bunch of scratches and when you mess up someone else's car and you film it, they're gonna know that it was you. So I did it all over again and without any further ado, check it out. So this is what we're left with. This is the very final little last touch. Check it out. I mean, these things were completely cloudy. They were yellow. They were absolutely disgusting. I mean, the lighting just honestly sucked. And check it out. We got them pretty good. I mean, for not knowing what we're doing, and I just kind of did this as an added bonus, these headlights look absolutely sick. But honestly, the best part is this hood. I mean, I didn't even think this was possible. I wish I could do it to the whole car, but the hood was the main thing that needed it. I mean, look at that. It's just pure gloss. There are still a little bit of like micro scratches and clouds in it, but I mean, compared to before. All right, guys, it's celebration time. Come on, Kels, you get to go first. You're next, Biz. Don't worry, don't worry. No, you're, you're next. Two, one at a time, I'm sorry. All right, very soon. Very, very soon. It's celebration time, all right? Hey, you're making me sad. It's, cel it's celebration time. Bye. I'll, I'll be back, here we go. I'll be right back, I swear. It'll be fine. It's, it's not that hot today, it's a nice day. So Bum came up with this idea, I actually really like it. Rather than driving 25 minutes to Starbucks for a pup cup, we can just drive down the street to the store and buy the pup with no cup. Original, extra, original. Do you think that that's supposed to be a Pac-Man? Cause like every time I see it, I think it's Pac-Man. I, I think they did it on purpose. Don't worry cows, cows I'm coming for you. I'm here for you, okay. I know, oh, you're, tang you're tangled on the e-brake, cows. All right, come on. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I don't want you to lick it off the floor at all. Cows, hey, it's okay, look. I guess she just wants it on the ground. I, I mean, I can understand not wanting this sprayed in your face, like, but, you know, I mean, it it's also, it's kind of, 
It's kind of a pleasant thing. Guys, even Callie's making out with the Miata. It just looks so amazing. How could you not? Like the cloudiness used to be the Miata's entire identity. That's basically all you would see. And now, oh my God. Like now all you can tell is that there's a dog making out with it. I mean, we do need a new bumper, but but I mean, one step at a time, right? All right, Kazuo, you got your ride. You got your puppuccino. I mean, kind of. All right, I hope you had fun. Puppy swab, come on, Bears. All right, Mrs. Bears, let's see what you got. Can you make it up on your, oh, very impressive. Usually I have to help her up in the car, but this is so low. The Bez is like, I'm driving. No, I, I I don't think so. I don't think so, Mrs. Bez. You're cute, but I can't wait you drive. So Bez has always hated the car. Like, she doesn't love going on car rides. She wants to come, but when she's in the car, she doesn't like it. But she seems to like this. Like, she's doing good. She's looking out the window. She's having a good time. Good cute views. Yeah. She doesn't need the seatbelt thing like Callie does, because, I mean, Bez doesn't jump out the window. Callie jumped out the window at a stoplight a couple years ago in California. That was insane. But you know, the Bez is too old to be doing that kind of stuff. So the Bez is a dog of many fields, but this right here is what we call Bez's current field. It, it kind of changes from time to time, right Bez? So Bez is like, yeah, I keep getting kicked out of all these different fields and you know, I try new fields. But this is her current field and she absolutely loves it. Can you get down? You can make it. Good girl, the pavement's probably so hot. Come on, we're in a drought. Can't you tell? <laughs> it hasn't rained in like several weeks. And you know what, that's okay because I mean the Bez, you know, she gets water out of the faucet, she drinks it all up, she pisses it all out. And there's, there's your proof. We definitely need to get this car a new bumper. But I mean, look at it. Oh man, I'm so happy with how it turned out. I just like, I can't stop looking at it. I can't get over it. Let's see what she thinks. Let's see if she can handle it. Oh, she knows exactly. Oh my God. Oh my. Yes. Man, they really don't put much in these, do they? Like, I barely gave Callie any and I, I didn't really give the best a ton. I gave her way more than she needed. But I mean, that wasn't, that, yeah, that was super disappointing. And then of course, wow, the best hasn't had this much of a junk food day in quite a long time, but we get some very good beef for the very good beef. Good job. Yeah, good job, I just want to get it off here, but I gotta pet you, bitch, I gotta pet you. There's two people sitting right behind me and they've been watching me and listening to me this entire time. And like, I, I, I just, I had to do it. I mean, I'm here, this is our field, I'm talking, and they can hear me right now and they probably think I'm insane and I am, I'm insane. But you know, it's just a little, you know, sometimes it gets a little bit awkward, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do for the little Mrs. Beers. And so that ends a nice fun day of detailing a car that I love so much. How do you think we did, Bez? You think we did pretty good? She's like, man, I'm just here for the ride, man. And I had a very fun time and I'm very blurry and I'm very tired and I'm very hot. Bez, Bez, why are you so blurry? Come on, we need to take you to the hospital. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, you're fine. Oh man, this car is amazing. Not to mention it basically gets almost Prius gas mileage, which if you know anything about me, that's, that's a major win.